Peace, light, and love, my YouTube family. How is everyone? I hope everyone is blessed, feeling splendid out here in God's green and blue and whatever else colored world. <laughs> uh, we're going to do a read today for the collective just because I miss you guys. You know what I'm saying? I want to get in touch. So I like to have the videos going so that I can be interacting. So, you know, I love the support that you guys have been showing me on the channel. Shout out to Priestess Aset Ra Amen. Um, I am a priest of her circle uh, and I love it. You know, um, she sees in me uh, what God has uh, bestowed within me and my anointing. And I'm so grateful for Priestess Aset uh, Ra Amen. Thank you so much for allowing me into your circle. Thank you, uh, God. Thank you, heavens of the highest divine white light. I'm so grateful. I've always wanted my magical circle of my own, and your man has got it. Okay, now. All right, so uh, I am a brother of her circle, um, and I am looking forward to everything I'm going to be learning, the work that I got to put in. I understand it's about putting in that work, and I am really, uh, really, really working on myself to be able to fully devote my being uh to the work and uh i am really grateful uh and i'm really looking forward to it with 128 on the clock so many beautiful blessings i love that my reality is shifting um i love that i'm stepping into a timeline um that is taking me away from where i came from you know i am i am not my family my blood family i'm not the people um who raised me i am not the person that people see me, they think they know me. I am not that brother. I'm not that person uh, anymore. Um, and I haven't been for so long. Um, and I'm so glad that God is really shifting my timeline, shifting my reality. You know what I'm saying? Nothing is uh, as it was. Um, and it's so beautiful. It's amazing. Um, because I am born again. I, I, I'm so grateful. Okay. So, uh I'm going to do this read here, uh, starting off with Maji got the T's, the Chosen Ones, 144 Oracle deck, baby. What an amazing deck this is. This deck activates um, use, I mean, powerfully. Uh, of course, if you know Maji got the T, check her out on YouTube. Check out her website, Maji'sTea.com, M-A-J-I-S-T-E-A.com. Maji's amazing. She's a psychic. She's a medium. She's a musician. She raps. She sings. She's beautiful. Um, she's like Dominican and and a beautiful mix of 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 nationalities, ethnicities. Looking at her, you want to know really what she she is besides beautiful, <laughs> um, you know. Um, so uh, you know, really shout out to her. Um, such a powerful uh, goddess she is. Um, and I know we know each other from somewhere in this world, somewhere, some some uh, some lifetime we know each other. First card out, baby. Star C, check it out. Star C, Star C, love it. We're gonna get into this read. This read, see what we got. Rebirth. I just talked about being born again, and I saw this card in my third eye when I said I have been reborn a long time ago. But in this reality, like my reality is shifting, where, um, you know, I'm, I'm, it's like I, I'm getting my, I'm starting to walk. <laughs> and talk, baby. I was reborn some couple years ago, you know, some time ago. But your brother is up and walking, talking. I can say yes. I can say no. <laughs> I can say give me that. Like, you know, I, you know, rebirth. We're gonna talk about it. And the final card, ba -da, 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 da Ancient divine blood. I love it. Ancient divine blood. Shout out to our ancestors. Shout out to the lineages. Lineages. Um, that we stem from and that we are continuing and shout out to all those who are going to come forth from us you know shout out to the parents out in the house and shout out to us who are uh knowing that we shall be parents here uh in due time three beautiful cards star seed so with star seed i'm feeling like you know shine bright like a diamond is what comes to mind you are a diamond you are that star in the sky you know, which means that, you know, you have gone through the pressures. You know what pressure is. You know what pain is. You know what it has taken uh, to, to, to manifest your best self, to tap into your divine power. You know that it takes a lot of pain. 
it could be excruciating this evolution that we find ourselves find ourselves experiencing by the way please do check out my youtube i mean my instagram uh my instagram is jfaro88 jfaro so j dash faro 88 is where i'm at on instagram um building the brand building the business um i know this is my calling so you know i really uh ought to uh, devote myself uh to to carrying this all out and that's what i have been doing if you check out the channel i started consistently putting out videos a year ago i went from four subscribers to over 200 subscribers now and i'm so excited baby your brother has met 200 subscribers um my very absolute first video was like five years ago and i put that video out there and say hey i don't know what exactly to do but i hear god telling me to to start this youtube channel it's five years ago i made one video and then for four years i didn't make any content i was just like i hear you god i, I know you want me to do this what exactly are you um are saying well, i'm just I even tied the video you know you know um god i give in order to receive you know what I'm saying i'm putting it out there like you did i i give acknowledgement so that i can receive the guidance uh, on how to follow it so yeah follow me on instagram please uh j 88 it should be on my excuse me my community page somewhere but anyway star seeds that's you that's you that's me we are the stars baby we are the chosen ones we are god's chosen ones and i know so a lot of times people are like Oh my God, everybody's saying they're a chosen one. I've seen people talk about that. And you know, hey, it's, it's a reason why this, the chosen ones are such a conversation piece in um, you know mainstream society today. It's a reason why, of course, we've had this huge 5D shift on the planet, right? That was, um, what was it, year, two years ago? Um, there was that huge 5D shift um, and um, the huge shift in the on the planet, excuse me, where we are more in alignment with the spiritual realms like a global consciousness a global rise in consciousness rebirth rebirth you know what's so amazing i have really been processing to myself how this experience that i've been experiencing and that i know that my collective you know we have been experiencing the collective to which you know i belong we have been experiencing um this birthing type of pain you know experience you know and birthing you know I, I i can equate a lot of what i've been experiencing to what people say about childbirth you know um this the, the labor the, the 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 even though there's this excruciating pain and pressure uh um, that is really consuming our focus we there is there are blessings birthing through and it's like it's it's it's, it's it almost seems you know like a contradiction for to be so such an amazing blessing at hand and there's this experience of excruciating pain trials and tribulations you know and yet we are getting better our lives are getting better life is manifesting you know um yet we are going through uh um labor pains you know this 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 uncomfortableness so the rebirth is at hand and i say we should really be excited because we are shining bright baby we're shining bright um in this in, in our, our new reality like i said god has i feel god finally allowed me to have this this shift in my life where i can feel and see within myself and outside myself god's anointing on my life i can know that god is moving and god is elevating me and god is showing my enemies showing the haters showing those who doubted me that hey this is my special child he is anointed you might not like it but there's not anything that you can do about it and if you dare try to do anything about it you will get set down you will go MIA, baby. Enemies have been just vanishing. Poof, 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 poof. I'm just like, bye, bitch, bye, bitch, bye, bitch. They be like, where'd he go? I don't know. I'm like, you know. Bye, bitch. <laughs> you know? I'm so excited. Ancient divine blood. Shout out to the ancestors. Shout out to ancient Egypt, baby. Um, 
you know, I do uh, I know that I have had a lifetime um, as a pharaoh um, that is very, um, you know, I feel like it's very profound for me in this lifetime. It really, you know, it really feels like I, it's important for me to know about my my history um, of being a pharaoh to better understand my purpose here in life today. A lot of really wise people teach that your past lifetimes might not be very influential or significant profound in um your current lifetime like you might be a king or queen in one, one lifetime you might be uh you know selling ass for you know selling some doing some strange for some change you might be doing some strange for some change now but you know we might have been a royal been on the, on the royal court in, in, in the past you know but i feel like my having been a pharaoh is definitely significant in my um, experience of this incarnation, this incarnation. Um, you know, I really feel like, uh, you know, it's very significant for me, hence Jay Farrow. Um, so, I feel like all good things at hand. Let's check out the back of the deck energy. We have underestimated, oh my gosh, for how long have, have they not wanted to acknowledge what God has place within us for how long have we had to go and not look like we were are the royalty that we are i've been saying like god it's time for me to look like the royal being that i am i want my life to look like i am a king because i am a king and i know that i am anointed i am special i am a chosen one of god and i've been praying to god really saying that i know that it is time for me to look as if i am God's chosen one. So often we are born into situations in which we don't really seem like the chosen one, right? What do we look like? A lot of times we um, we we have challenges or shortcomings, or um, you know, God hides us in plain sight. When people look at look at us, they might not have thought that oh, that would be someone that God has blessed miraculously. God, God has anointed that person. Might, might not have seen that shiny, that special, um, that set apart by God. You know, and that's all been very intentional. You know, we might have had, you know, behavioral challenges. We might have had mental health challenges. We might have had substance abuse challenges. You might have had financial challenges. And when people will look at you and will judge you as not as someone who would be God's chosen one. They will not have judged you and and thought of anointing they would have thought maybe you were less than maybe thought that you wouldn't have, have, have been anything in your life they might have thought that you know you were someone who would struggle someone who would fail <laughs> you know and, and they low key or high key wanted that to be the case they wanted you to be someone who would fail and, and were so glad when they thought that oh my god i was right he or she's not going to be anything they're not going to be anything they're not going to be better than me. People want to underestimate us because they don't want for us to be better than them. And if you like me, it's like I don't have to compete. Like you but for likely feel the same way. We don't have we don't feel this sense of walking into a room or joining a group, organization or something and want to compete with people to be the best. That's never really that's never what I, I come in to do. I want to be my best. I want to do well. I always I do always want to do well. I want to do well now, of course. But I'm not focused on wanting to be the best. You know, that's not my goal. But when people come at me and they start to compete with me, just to just to knock me down, just to try to rank me below them, I'm like, hold up, motherfucker. But <laughs> well, hold up. I'm not I didn't come here to compete with you. But what you're not gonna do is think you're gonna try to compete with me so that you can make me who's not paying any attention to you below you in some type of ranking. They keep trying to one up me. You know what I'm saying? They do the same to you, right? They try to one up us or two up us, as many up us as they can. But here's the thing. Once I decipher, this is where I am in my life right now. It's like I'm I'm not focused on um what other people look like, um, how well other people sing, because I am a singer, um, or I'm not focused on how su I'm marked. How smart other people are. I'm not focused on intelligence. I'm not focused on what kind of car you have. I'm not focused on what your house look like. I'm not focused on what your clothes look like. I'm not focused on what type of pets you got. What type of pets I got. Or whatever the case may be. But because people keep on coming at me. I mean for 
Every day, it is a power thing. No matter what I do, where I go, it's like people come at me and it's so scary. I'm, it's like, it's scary, but I, did, I have an understanding of it, right? Because we understand when you have this energy, this vibration that's so high that is of God, we attract everything. You know, God really protects us. You know, glory to God. I'm so grateful um, for God's protection and the protection of ancestors and our spirit guides because, oh my God, you know, of course we need that. And for me, the point is, if you're like me, is that I didn't come to compete. But when because but because I cannot escape people competing with me now here in my thirties, I'm like it's time to sit your ass down. I didn't come to compete with them, but I'm gonna sit the, sit them down. That's how I feel. So if you think you are you know whatever you think you wanna do better than me, let me show you who you talking to. Let me show you who you fucking with. You know what I'm saying? I didn't come to. I didn't come to to rank you below me is what what I tell them. You know what I'm saying? I, I didn't show up to be titled number one. I showed up to do my own personal best. And I want other people to do well. I'm a person where I genuinely get so excited when, uh, when I see other people doing well. I'm so happy for them. I really am happy for them. And if anything will only inspire me to 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 do greatness in my own life but i'm so happy for them and if they're not doing well i want to try to help them figure out how to, how to empower themselves and do better i genuinely genuinely get a this feeling of happiness in my heart when people around me are doing well it makes me really happy and but i noticed that with people many many people they of course as with this vibration this, the gifts that God bestowed upon us um, as, you know, you know, as being these, you know, whatever you might call yourself. You're, you're a light worker. You're an empath. You are a priest. Are you a witch? Are you a, uh, what are you? You know what I'm saying? But when we have this power, people feel us. And our light irritates their demons. The insecurities get, they, they, oh my God, it's like, you know, they compete with us. They want to somehow lower our power, which is impossible for them to do. So what are they going to do? They try to find these different reasons. I'm not a very tall guy. So I get around people and they start talking about height. They get around men, they start talking about tall men. Like, I give a fuck. You taller than me, Okay. Okay, I like what the fuck. They start talking about you know, see I got locks. If they have locks or something, they start to they, they, their hair is longer than mine. They start doing all type of shit with their hair. Like I give a fuck. <laughs> like I give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? Um, I start singing. Did you know they try to sing over me? You know what I'm saying? Or try to you know try to make noise so I can't sing. You know what I'm saying? So that. There's no competition there because they can't sing, so they're you know nobody's looking for them to open their mouth because they talk over me. You know, say I can't help but sing all the time. It's who I am, how I've been my entire life. You know, and and whatever the case may be, you know, whatever the case might be, people go so far out their way for no fucking reason. Like you ever like go out in public, like oh my god, I gotta go to Walmart. Oh my god, I gotta go to the corner store. And the whole time, you're just like, let me try to get out here and get, get in and out so fast before people go come in there. And you know, there'll be no one in the store, no one on the street. As soon as you fucking show up, what happens? It's happened to me so many times to the point where I'm like, you know, I, I, I have a different perspective on it now, being this far in my journey. But I remember, I remember like in my 20s when I was first starting to really get hip to it. I was like, oh my God, like there was absolutely no one in that store. And then when I got to the cash register, there was a person who had rushed up there and got in front of me. And then I got in line behind this person. And then there was a whole line of literally seven, eight, nine, ten, or more people. And the store was empty. How was it empty when I got, when I showed up? And then there are ten people in this line when I'm in line. You know, stuff like that all the time. You know, you're driving, 
you get to the, you know, a turn or something, there's nobody on the road, but then well, as soon as you get to the part, like the road you got turned on, there's gonna be a car coming from that direction, car coming from that direction, a car pulling up behind you, causing all this clusterfuck right around you. There's no cars anywhere else around y'all, it's just people around you making this clusterfuck around you. You know? Because we all these star seeds, my fam, ooh, my family, we all these star seeds. The rebirth is happening. Please comment down below if you feel this too. Like we've been through so much shit. We've been through so much shit that, you know what I'm saying? I can sit here and smile and say that, but if I really get into it, I will be crying. I will be snotty nosed. I would be, you know, you know, I'll be on the floor just, just screaming because of what we have been through. What we have been through. But instead, I smile. And shot, uh, ancient divine blood. Let's tap into our ancestors. Vener What's the word? Um, venerate. Let's, let's empower our ancestors. You know what I'm saying? As in death, so in life, you know, it's, it's a process. We have to lift up our ancestors. It's a teaching of priestess Aset that really sits with me. Um, we do have to raise... Um, have to support our ancestors. So, you know, let's, let's, let's get our ancestor altars right. Let's get them flowers at our, at our altars. Let's get the water on our altars. Let's look up, you know, what, what it takes to make a nice altar. Um, Rashad King on YouTube, he does a lot of talk about altars and um, shows how to make them. Um, he made his beautiful altars. Um, so check out him on YouTube. Um, let's, you know, put that money on the altar. Let's put them incense on the altar. Let's pray at our altar. You know, let's talk to our ancestors. Talk to grandma. Talk to grandma who did pass away just like she right there. I talk to my grandma. I be talking to her like, yo, uh, today. Or something happened. Like, grandma, you can see that? And we, I be talking it up. And she'll come through other psychics when I talk to them. Like, yo, grandma, I love how you talk to her. They be like, yo, grandma, I love how you talk to her all. You talk to her, she right there. And if I ever kind of stop doing it for a little bit, get a little just caught up in life, she'll come through and be like, hey, come talk to your granny. Talk to me, baby. <laughs> she'll come through and be like, talk to me, baby. Keep talking. I love you, grandma. I love you. She said, say my name. I love you, grandma Francie. She said, say my name. You say my name. <laughs> I love you, grandma Francie. Um, yeah, shout out to the ancestors. Um, let's do the work, let's do our prayers, get our chance, you know. And you know, this is a lonely journey, right? You know, so let's support one another. If you come across this video, please do support me. You know, it's very lonely. I don't have other people around me who read cards, other people who are into a cult, other people um, who know about. Um, you know, being a witch or being a magician. Um, I don't know other people. You know, I don't have these people in my in my direct life. I recently did become a priest of uh, priestess. I set Rotman circle, so I'm very excited. Also, you know, I realized that would be a huge. It is a huge responsibility, but I know that it is a responsibility that I came here for, and that is necessary for me. And I'm really excited to, to be challenged and to learn and to grow and to help people. You know what I'm saying? I'm ready to share my information with my brothers and sisters. God tells me that I know way more than I give myself credit for. I've been through way more occult experiences than I realize. And that I know way more about the occult and being a magician um, than I realize. You know, I've kind of been going through my life. God says you are way more powerful than your wildest dreams. God's really telling me that, you know, it's a, it's a power be, beyond my comprehension. And I know that it rings true for a lot of us. And um, we really have to tap into this power. I'm not tooting my horn. Um, I'm really just appreciating the truth of God, you know. Um, so uh, I do have a, a um, battery notification there. Uh, but I am getting to the uh, end of this video. I love you all so very much. Um, let's keep on going here and um, let's, you know, overcome that trauma. Let that past go. We have been born again, baby. 
you and I and you 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 and you, we have been reborn, baby. And let's embrace it. Let's let's know that we are kings and queens. We're not that kid that was getting picked on in the past. We're not we're not the people we come from. We're not the addictions of the people of the of our past, we are not our past behaviors, we are not our traumas, we are royalty, baby. We are tarot readers, we are light workers, we are healers, we are doctors of our own right. Come on now. We are royalty. We are spiritual celebrities, baby. Let's get into it. Peace, light, and love. Please like and subscribe. Leave me a comment, share the video. Uh, bless me if you want to support my journey monetarily my cash app is king again 88 king again 88 please check me on instagram that's at j dash pharaoh 88 j dash pharaoh 88 um i love y'all y'all been making my life i've met I, I, i'm over 200 subscribers i'm so excited when i started this a year ago i was at four subscribers your boy is over 200 subscribers <laughs> i'm so grateful so excited uh peace light and love y'all until next time.